Howdy everybody. Just figured I would put together a video on how much it has actually cost me so far to build my Vans RV14A. Um, so I put together a, a quick little presentation on the money that I spent so far and then some estimated costs on how much I think it'll cost to finish building the plane and all of that wonderful stuff. So enjoy, have fun, and it's a lot of money. Okay, so here is how much it costs so far to build the plane. The first thing I wanted to do was show you the um, each of the areas that I kind of break down the parts for. Um, I did include my oops costs because we make oops every once in a while and it costs money to fix them so I included that well as well and I also have updated um, costs from vans um, the new prices they have on the kits that I don't currently have so research was pretty easy it wasn't expensive <clears throat> but it was time-consuming so putting together my list of what my mission is going to be and what I wanted in a plane and what I wanted to be able to do and all of that stuff and then researching all the all of the kits out there that could do it or buying planes that could do it and so that took hours and hours and hours so not a whole bunch of money but a lot of time um, I had a pretty good shop going before I started to build a plane so I had like all of the stuff that you would need to work on a car or you know, build cabinets at home and stuff like that. So I didn't need a whole lot, but I did get a few things, but not a whole lot of cost to update the shop to be able to handle building a plane. Although I did buy tools um, for the plane. And so I did separate out the shop and the tools, figuring the shop was kind of the garage and where I was gonna do it and how things were gonna fit and be spaced and whatnot. But the tools were actually things that I use to build the plane. So the squeezer, the rivet gun, the bucking bars, the, you know, the, you name it, the screwdrivers and the, you know, sanding stuff and the die grinders and all of the stuff that I'm using to build the plane. And that was the most expensive part by far. Um, $5,250 basically so far in tools. The empennage kit, when I bought it, it was, um, cheaper than it currently is now but I paid basically $6,500 for the kit um, that does include my $500 um, veterans discount that they give which I am not sure if they will still give that or not um, so we'll see the next time we get my my wings hopefully will be coming in May and then there's all those times I messed up um, $277 worth of mess ups that was oh so fun but hey it happens so you take care of it and you replace it with right stuff and then future cost estimates these are updated with the new numbers from vans we're looking at about hundred and fifty four thousand um, dollars when it's all said and done up to a hundred and ninety one and some change so it's up there it's expensive um i do know that i probably will rebuild an engine um i i kind of want to build the engine i don't want one that's just kind of handed to me i want to be able to know everything there is to know about it especially if i'm going to be flying with it um so i kind of want to build the engine from scratch and put it together you know buy a buy a used engine and then refurbish it and re new it and get new stuff for it and put it all together so that will probably be a little bit less expensive than what it shows there but all in all um on the grand scheme of things one hundred fifty thousand dollars for a, a fast plane that can do aerobatics is not that expensive um even with the updated costs from vans it's still it was probably pretty cheap before but now it probably fits right in line with where it needs to be so but here is the grand total of what I have spent so far. Are you ready? Boom. So I've spent $12,803.56. So not that much in the grand scheme of things. Um, I did order my wing kit before the Chapter 11 stuff. 
Um, so that'll be another $15,000 added onto that. So I'll be up to 27 after it arrives. Um, and it'll jump up pretty quick, pretty fast after that. So that was fun. Um, so grand total, somewhere around $150,000, I'm guessing. Uh, but when it's all said and done, I'll have my own airplane. Um, not that I will sell it, but they sell for somewhere in between 200 and 250. So if you're looking at it for an investment, I guess that could be a, a bonus. I am not looking to do that. So um, I'm looking to fly this thing all over the world. Um, I get kind of excited thinking uh, when my kids move out wherever they live, I can get to them. They're close enough that I can fly to them and uh, go visit grandkids and whatnot. So kind of excited I have, I'm figuring about four and a half years left um, for the build. I'm expecting the wing kit um, in May. They say it should come in around May. Um, and then I'm also expecting the replacement parts for the laser cut pieces. Um, I'm expecting those in the next month or two, hopefully. Um, and then I, I do plan on completely rebuilding elevators, rudder, and vertical stabilizer. Um, those are the three that I have that are have a lot of pieces that need replaced. So I will show videos on me tearing those three apart and then either rebuilding them, putting pieces in, um, and then putting them all back together. So as always, if you have any comments, questions, uh, concerns, you think I'm crazy, whatever it is, feel free to leave comments, like the video, talk to you later.